What's happening YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to be installing this. This is an AirTech Plenum for my Mark II Focus ST. I got this brand new from AE Motorsport and they've agreed very kindly to support me in my journey and they've agreed for a 5% discount code on certain products on their website. So you just have to chance your luck, put your item into the basket, add the discount code and maybe just maybe you'll get five percent off your order they're already one of the best value for money performance shops out there so make sure you check them out anyway there'll be a link in the description fan five at discount will save you five percent so let's get on with installing this so we have already made a start i've removed the crossover pipe from here to here um, and i've took my original airbox off its mount i'm actually going to remove the ecu and kind of just place it and see if I can remove this whole air box to get it out of the way so I can get access to underneath here. So I believe there's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight mil bolts. I might be able to get in. We'll leave this in situ for now. I might be able to get in. I might be able to get in. Let's have a go. So we've got an eight mil here. There's one at the back. I think that's the one that's going to be difficult to get to. That I've read about. There's one here. There's another one in the middle. I've already got this one cracked off with a spanner so. a bit of a roll i've got out so far i've got out one two three four i've got out so i've, I've got out four of the six bolts that hold the planning on the the most fiddly one is it's still in but i've got it i've cracked it off and loosened it it's just i need to get my fingers on it to wind it out um, and then i've got one that's here left to take out so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get them two out and then i'll show you how, how to remove the vac pipe now i'm not doing an rs vac pipe upgrade at this point i will do it it's in in the plans i was going to do it all in one it plenum and an rs vac pipe but i'm not going to i'm just going to do the plenum and do an, a vac pipe update of the last so let's get the rest of these bolts out <laughs> the most fiddly one last one to do so vat pipe removal then you can see this it's held in by this red tab so if you get your vat pipe and push it in so the red tab goes in hold the red tab and a bit of wiggling should see your vat pipe come free so that's now disconnected from the inlet manifold which is good so we've just got a couple of things left to undo and we're away so I disconnected everything I disconnected the boost pipe I can't get the clip off the throttle body so i'm going to try and remove it on the car it's got 40 30 torque bits i've cracked the first one off so As I plan them done. Right. So as I said then, we've got a new air tech plan them. Brand new. I got this from AE Motorsport, as I've already said. Use BAM5 at your discount to get 5% off your order. Yeah, look at that. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna swap over all these gaskets. Now I know what you're thinking, you should probably get new ones. Well, that's not necessarily the case when I've done research on this, because these are not actually compressed can be reused so I'm going to take all these off and put them in our nice new shiny air tech plan. Perfect. All the gaskets are now swapped over. One, two, three, four, five. This can go to one side and be put away. 
Next we need to the nice new plenum back on the car, very gently because I don't want to damage it. We've got some new Allen bolt to go in for our throttle body. So we'll put the throttle body back on, slip it into place, and then we'll put all of our one, two, three, four, five, six bolts back in nice and gently. Connect everything back up and fire it up. So let's get our little bag of tricks. So as I said then, you get a little bag of tricks and in here I've got four bolts to hold the throttle body on some new cable ties um, for the hoses that connect so you've got some vac pipes that connect you've got one here so i've got a new cable tie to put on there and then i've got a new jubilee clip to go on the big one here these are i think these are breathers for um for like the, the the cam casing i think that's what they're for in the top of the engine so yeah so i think what we're going to do is we'll start with getting very gently i will say very gently getting throttle body onto the car might be a bit tricky. we're gonna have to be very careful because the last thing we want to do is damage or scrap our nice new shiny air tech plenum so let's do this so put some bubble wrap in the engine bay as well because what we're gonna need <laughs> Like I said then, there is some kind of like breather pipes that connect. One connects here where my hand is, the other one's here. So I think, you can see I get a nice new, I think they'll be better trying to connect them once the plenum is seated in place. If I'm honest, so that is exactly what I'm going to do next. <laughs> I very gently and very carefully put all six bolts in there in. We're not far off doing that, but I've got a concern. Let me show you what my concern is. So very gently put this in. This is obviously the new plenum and this is our standard R box. Now I'm not convinced, obviously the plenum is taller and it's wider. Now I'm not convinced that I'm going to be able to run this plenum with a standard air box. I'm like, that's got to go back in that gap and well, look. I think we've got a boo-boo here, I think I've got, I'm going to have to put the standard one back on. But we're going to carry on and hope for the best. I think it shows if I've seen STs with standard, with standard air boxes, I can't, I can't think. But hopefully it'll go. So I'm just going to get this Jubilee clip for our... So you can see the old is now on. Now believe it or not, from factory that sailed on for the cable tie and you get one in the kit, so that's what we're going to use. If you look there, it's now all connected up. We are almost done. So all that's left to do now is get everything back together. In fact, moment of truth is this airbox, airbox is going to go back on. I'm not convinced here. Let's get to it. So all I'm doing here is reinstalling that original airbox. Now, although it is a tight squeeze and a tight fit, I do manage to get it back in place and you can run your standard airbox with an uprated plenum. Next, it's a case of just putting everything back together, starting with the turbo crossover and the back pipes that connect to it. Let's fire it up, see what she sounds like. Good. So it's come off choke, let's give it a little bit of a rev. Turbo's more whistler. I think we're good. So that is, we are done. We are done. Air tech plenum installed. So recent mods have been, or mods so far this year, three inch full 
Miltec Ultimate System Stage 2 AirTec Intercooler with Pro Hoses boost pipes. Now we've got the Plenum. All that's the, the next mod will be the R AirTech RS style crossover. And we're ready for mapping. Stage two, here we come. 300 bhp is the target. So, if it's the first time you see one of my videos, make sure you press subscribe. Check out my other channel, Project Alpha. Will you have an update on that next? As it's sold, as it passes MOT, you'll find out. Thanks very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.